All right, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to solve a literal equation solved for x and y. Now, this is very common in uh, graphing, in uh, solving systems, uh, very common a lot of algebraic techniques we're going to do. But right now, we're just going to practice solving for x and solving for y. So remember, when we're going to solve for x, we want to get x to equal something. And when we solve for y, we want to get y to equal something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple steps that we can do. First thing, let's just focus on solving for x. If I have 3x plus 4y equals 15, all right? There's a couple operations that we're going to work with right now. And I just want to work on the four operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. And um, for a problem like this, what you guys can see is, what are my two operations that are happening? I have multiplication of my variable times 3, and I have addition of 4y. So when we're, when we're solving for a variable, you always want to undo your addition, and your, your addition and your subtraction first. So here, I'm going to want to undo addition of a 4y. Well, the undo addition would be subtraction. So I subtract a 4y on both sides of my equation. Therefore, I get a 3x equals 15 minus 4y. Now, I have a multiplication by my variable, multiplication of 3 by my variable, so to do that, undo that, I need to divide by 3. All right, now remember, you cannot combine a 15 minus 4y. However, I get x equals, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this into two different fractions. 15 divided by 3 actually reduces down to 5, and negative 4 divided by 3, I'm just going to keep as a negative 4 thirds y. And that would be my final answer, solve for x. So now, to solve for y. All right, um, let's just rewrite it again and see what the difference is. And there's really actually not too much of a difference because it's both adding. Um, but here, again, I notice I'm multiplying by 4 and adding by 3x. All right, this is a positive 3x. I need to get rid of that positive 3x. There's actually no addition sign in front of there. Well, you could write one in, but um, I can rearrange this so we can do it. But just remember, that's a positive 3x. So to get rid of that positive 3x, I need to subtract 3x. So therefore, I get 4y is now equal to 15 minus 3x. Now I need to undo multiplication by division. And I'll just separate it into two fractions like that. So that's how you solve for x. That's how you solve for y. There you go.